More than 2.3 Minnesotans have million Minnesotans have received at least one dose of the COVID vaccine, which is 52% of the eligible population. But with variants of the virus still spreading around the state and vaccine hesitancy, there is some cause for concern. Our Alex Tejada joins us to explain what's going on here. Alex. Well, Tom, Caitlin, today I was Governor Kim Reynolds stated her concern about vaccine hesitancy, especially in those between the ages of 18 to 39. The groups less affected by the virus, but with the highest amount of cases. And here in Rochester, we spoke to a pharmacist about whether they are seeing fewer people eager to roll up their sleeves. We've seen a tremendous slowdown, which is disheartening and unfortunate. Far from the case back in late March. We had people, 40 people standing in the parking lot waiting and being called in by numbers. And now we're, it's just the polar opposite. More than 40% of Olmstead County is fully vaccinated. Yeah, hey, I, I have my second dose Saturday. Yet he could have gotten it sooner. But I was just kind of hesitant at first. And then I just went on and got it because I can't be one saying like, oh, get the vaccine and I'm not taking accountability myself in doing so. One RCTC student said she was anxious to get it after arriving in Minnesota a few months ago. Initially, it was a little hard to find, but then I kept checking and that's how I found the slot and I booked it very quickly. Many others who are on the fence about the vaccine have still not gotten a dose. I don't know what's in it. I don't know what it's going to do. And like, I haven't gotten it so far, so like, I think I'll be fine without it. And more than just Minnesotans or young people feel this way. I come from India and a lot of you know, people back in India are still in a dilemma to get it or not uh, because they're hearing a lot of stories about people who got sick from it or something. So what if someone who is unvaccinated gets sick? I mean, if I do, obviously I'll quarantine and do what I need to do. I don't want anyone else to get it, but I really don't care if I get it or not. Like, I just don't. Rochester Public Pharmacy has received calls from people in the Twin Cities metro area calling for appointments due to the limited availability of vaccine there. Pharmacy staff encourages anyone who needs a first or second dose to come by their Elton Hills Drive location where vaccine is offered on a first come, first serve basis. Tom, Caitlin, back to you. All right, thank you. Well, it's been five years.